What up, Naked Nation? You know, I'm glad the season around the corner. A few people on Twitter hit me up, asked me what I think about uh, the Lakers, the first three three preseason games. What I like so far, I like uh, the way they rotating so far defensively. I love the chemistry. Um, Moscow, I like the way he, you know, defensive way he move, you know, around the basket in the middle. Um, Brandon Ingram, I like his length defensively. Jordan Clarkson improved defensively. Uh, the last game, Nick Young played, you know, real good defense. I was really impressed with him. Uh, I really watched that closely. Um, Gallinari didn't really score him, I think, one time. Other than that, it was on switching. But anyway, um, defensively, but I feel that when the season comes, it's going to be a problem like far as our bigs. I think we're going to get into a lot of foul trouble because our guards is just getting beat with one dribble. And it's really cause for concern. I'm really seeing guys get beat with one dribble. And we basically play Denver and Sacramento. They don't really have that much talent, you know, on a perimeter. But... You know, that that's a little concern for me right now. And like I really like Lou Williams. I like Lou Williams. But like I was saying, in the offseason, I, I wanted uh, Lance Stevenson. Because I saw, this is basically, I'm going to break it down like this. D'Angelo Russell was outstanding the last two games. I like him playing the point guard, but I like sometimes where he can, you know, shift and we can, somebody else can take over that duties and he can play the point. I mean, move over to the uh, shooting guard position. His scoring, I really like it, but him and Lou Williams not going to work because neither one of them can, can defend a, uh, a shooting guard. I see how Aaron Flalo, you know, so he ran, ran to a post up. And that's just going to be the start of it if the way I'm staying this uh, starting lineup. Also with Clarkson, I think Clarkson look for his offense a lot too. So we need more of a playmaker. And I don't think that we can have Calderon in there because defensively he would have, be a problem. So what I said, I said it before. I said it months ago. I would definitely would love for the Lakers to uh, trade. I like Lou Williams a lot. Don't get it twisted, but. I would love for them to trade Lou Williams for Michael Carter Williams. He's available. He's legit 6'6". Six, six. I've seen him in person. He's, he's long. And he could defend. I think he could defend uh, pretty much three positions. And I think he would be a perfect addition where he would be that, like, that true point guard when Russell going off. But also, I really want Russell to really you know, pick up his point guard. But I would like that. Because I noticed when Russell was going off, a lot of other players were standing around. and Because he was basically the point guard and he was the scorer at the same time. Opposed to we had a point guard, yeah, he hot, we could feed him. But the point guard can also dish and look for other guys to get involved. So that's why I said Michael Carter Williams would be perfect because Russell could defend the, the point guards. He could defend the shooting guards. He can play defense. And he could keep guys on it you know, stop them from beating them. Because I feel we've been, the Mozgovs and, and Randall will be in the foul trouble a lot because we're getting beat with basically one dribble. And that's not good. If you look at our guards, we, we're not good defensively. We don't have no big shooting guards unless, unless we put Nick Young at that two-guard position. But, um, you know, other than that, like the chemistry, chemistry looking good. Uh, it's kind of hard to say if we're a real good offensive team because I've been hearing people, oh, Lakers, you know, good offensively. It's hard to tell because we play Sacramento and Denver. So it's pretty much an eight young teams, and most of the time young teams don't be good defensively. So it's kind of hard to tell, and I don't really see nobody who I can say consistently can go and give us points like that. But we have some guys who can score and fill it up. But I want to um, say one thing about Brandon Ingram. Like I said, I love him. I've been saying I love his game from the start before the draft even happened. But one thing, I don't know that 
is a, is a problem. He's 19 years old, so I'm not going to make it too much of an issue. But I would like him to be more of a have a killer instinct. <laughs> one thing, not comparing him to Kobe, but one thing, even Kobe, Kobe had that killer instinct from the start of the uh, summer league. The preseason, Kobe had that killer instinct. He was going. When he got that ball, he was going, trying to make things happen. So that's one thing I would like for Brandon Ingram to get some killer instincts. It's like he's shy away from the ball. He's not being aggressive or offensively. I think they need to still. That's why I also when I was telling you guys on there, I was saying the Lakers basically were trying to um, get guys chemistry, build chemistry, character, high character guys, which guys is more of laid back, you know, conservative guys. And I said the Lakers should get more of aggressive, you know, guys who, who more get at the rate, more dog in them, aggressive guys, they should have uh, also filled around the team because it's good for them guys that had an attitude, had that dog, aggressive attitude, you know, while they young, where it could get into them early. That's like you having a kid, you teach your kid these things early opposed to coming around late. So, you know, they can develop these habits while they fresh in the league and a guy who could, you know, teach them. That's why I would love if, you know, Kobe had been around for Ingram to give him that, that aggressiveness from the start. But, um, you know, that's basically, like I said, it's not really much to go on because, like I said, it's preseason. We did play Denver and Sacramento. I would like to see more, but um, I was, I'm was pretty happy. I'm happy he's not complaining about, you know, like I said, just that guy's defensively, the perimeter definitely got to improve defensively and, you know, keep them guys, the big guys, out of foul trouble. I really like them, Tyree Black. And to be honest, if I was them, I wouldn't even um, yeet. I would cut them. And, and you know, to me, I go in the season with 14 guys. So I didn't really see no guy. Maybe Thomas Robinson, because you know, he do play aggressive. Because you, you don't really need five guys or everybody who shoot jump shots. You need that, that defense is important. And he don't show that aggressiveness also to me. I didn't really see much in him. I know he had limited playing time, but he doesn't impress me. And especially he had to pay in all these games and he get that money. So, you know, I like Zubak. He, he got a little toughness with him. That's what I'm saying. I don't really see what's the purpose of Yee at this moment because we have Moscow. I like Tara Black, what he's doing to Zubak. <laughs> I don't even see what's the purpose of him. I will go in season 14 guys, I 14 characters. Guarantee contracts and see what happens. There may be some guys on other team get cut. I won't lock up 15 guys. I'll go 14, and, and that would be that. Or maybe Thomas Robinson be the 15th guy. So, um, you know, subscribe. I, ain't really, I know there's really much I didn't really say, but uh, subscribe. You know, they could beat those. One.